Hi, this is Flash from Handyman Answers, and I'm visiting some homeless today, and I want to talk about squatters and prove that even homeless people have more pride, and they don't take advantage of others and become squatters. Hi, uh, my name is Flash Shelton. I do a YouTube uh, show. Do you mind if I interview you? Go ahead. Um, what is your name? I don't want to share that. Oh, okay. How long have you been homeless? About 13 years. 13 years. Wow. Wow, uh, do you mind sharing your story, how you ended up homeless? My mother died and I was thrown out. Oh, wow. Wow, so you lived in a home with your mom and she passed away, and who threw you out of the house? Uh, my sister and stepmother. Oh, your sister, so family, family threw you out. So you ended up on the street 13 years ago after your mom passed away. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. I do a YouTube channel. Um, called Handyman Answers and I talk about you know everything to do with the home and one of the things that I've been covering is a squatter series um, because squatters took over my mom's house and I had to get them out. When you think of a squatter, what does a squatter mean to you? Um, somebody that just stays where they're not supposed to. Okay, somebody that stays where they're not supposed to. So do you think that it's right that squatters are allowed to take somebody's home? Do you think, you know, there should be some sort of consequences? I believe so. Yeah. You, would you ever, I mean, you're, you're living here and you're doing the best you can with your life right now. No. Is that something you ever considered doing? Taking and stealing from someone and no. taking a home even though you saw nobody living there? No. Is that something you would ever imagine doing to somebody else? No, I not uh, well, I really appreciate your time today. I really appreciate you, you know, um, sharing. And I know it's difficult sometimes uh, to talk about things. And and you know, we're gonna we're gonna meet your son here because your son is here sitting uh, sitting with you. And we're gonna meet him right now. Hey, sir, how you doing? All right. What's your name? Uh, my name's Anthony. Anthony, my name is Flash. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we just talked to your mom, and she said she's been homeless for 13 years. I understand you have a different story. Yeah. Um, so how did you become homeless? Uh, well, I became homeless. Like, it was like a downhill, like kind of uh, swamp thing. I um, I I, well, I got out of uh, I got out of prison. When I got out of prison, I went to rehab for about a year. Um, I, I was. Well, Five months, and then I went to a sober living for a couple of months. And then, um, then I left there, and I, I moved into a sober living uh, back out here in uh, the valley before I was in LA. Um, and I stayed there for about, like, I'd say, two years or three years. And then I moved in with my uh, ex girlfriend, and uh, I stayed there for like five years. And then, um, then I moved. Then I had to uh, move out because um, I started getting schizophrenia. Like I was hearing voices and stuff. So. Um, it was just becoming too problematic. So I moved it back in with my, uh, with my grandfather and my aunt. And I was there for about a year. And um, I had a girlfriend, I had a sneak, I snuck her in one night and uh, I got caught. And so they asked me to leave. So I, I had to leave. How long have you been homeless? I've been homeless since I think it was like 2015 or something. Okay, yeah. so it's been about eight years. Yeah. Eight years, okay. And then you, you, recon you connected with your mom? Yeah. Okay. And um, and was she already homeless at this location? Uh, this location, no, around the corner, down okay. um, uh, uh, near the four or five. Okay. And um, what what do you guys do to survive? What do you do to eat? Uh, general relief. I, I recycle a lot. I usually just recycle. Okay. And we get we get GR, so that helps a lot. Okay. Do you want to share what you were in prison for? Um, yeah, I, I had a, a drug addiction, crack cocaine. Okay, okay. Um, and um, what do you think of squatters? You've heard of squatters before? Uh, yeah. What and do you, what do you think when someone talks to you about, you know, a squatter, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is like somebody who uh, stumbles on a house that like, you know, the, owners had, you know, the owner had passed away or something like that and they, they, uh, they basically try to get the deed for free. Okay, okay. Now, if you saw a house that was empty, would you try to steal it? I try to steal it? No, 
I if I if I found one that like well it depends like if it was somebody who was like who was objecting saying that that was theirs then I, I wouldn't push the issue though no. Okay, so you've been here eight years. Have you ever considered looking for a house to 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 become a squatter in? Um yeah, but not 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 from another like not stealing it from another person or like something that like like an abandoned. Like, so if it was an abandoned house. So what if you were in a house and a family came in, came home? What would your reaction be? I, I, would, I would be I would be very humble and I, and I would I would leave immediately. Okay. So you would you would consider it if it was a clear abandoned property, not maintained, nobody there. But as soon as somebody objected, you would you would humbly leave. Yeah. Okay. All right. So do you feel that? Um, that you have um, more pride than to take from others in that situation? Yes. Okay. I really appreciate you, you know, giving me this time and and being straight and totally honest with me. I really appreciate it. I know that times are tough for you guys right now, and, and I really wish you and your mom, uh, you know, the, the absolutely best, and, uh, and I hope things work out. You shared with me something you have kind of some hope for and and i'm hoping that everything works out for you guys thank you uh, again thank you so much yeah, thank you hey anthony yeah. how you doing <laughs> hey, hey guys good to see you um, so, um, uh, you know, after, after meeting with you guys and interviewing you, I, I thought, you know, I wanted to do something for you, uh, to thank you for participating. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure what resources you've had in the past, but, uh, I just did a little bit myself and spoke to some people and I wanted to bring you, um, this is some information from both the, uh, St. Joseph Center and also the North Valley Caring Services, which is local. And if you do contact them, uh, reach out to Coach Anthony. Okay. Um, and this is information. There's uh, you know website, email, phone numbers. And the North Valley Caring Services is local. It's in this community. So okay. um, it would be good. And, uh, and I wanted to give you guys some money. It's my way of uh, saying thank you. So I wanted to... Uh, uh, just thank you both again. All right, I appreciate it. And um, all right, I will, uh, I will check in with you guys and see how you're doing another time, okay? okay all right, okay. Much. Okay, bye. 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 Okay. Have a nice day. You too. God bless you. God bless you. There you have it. Even Anthony was honest. He would move into a house that was vacant and clearly abandoned, but the moment somebody came in and objected, he would humbly leave the property because he's not trying to steal from anyone he would rather live like he is on the street than take somebody else's home and steal from someone else's hard-earned work this was just a couple examples of a couple people that have been living homeless one for eight years and one for 13 years most squatters are calculated they are taking advantage of a situation living rent-free they're either trying to take a home and make it their own, or they're trying to just buy their time, live rent free for a while, figuring that best case or worst case scenario, they're taken out in six months, but that's six months rent free. They know that they can take advantage of the fact that the law doesn't really do anything or impose any consequences on them. Are all squatters bad people? You know, I'm not, I can't, I can't say that. I can't, I can't say that all squatters are bad people, but I can say that squatters are taking advantage of a situation, taking advantage of other people's properties that might be vacant for a reason, whatever reason it is. They are taking advantage of the system that allows them to. Because the laws are favoring them, there's a huge incentive to become a squatter 
knowing that there are no consequences, knowing that it's not actually against the law, therefore it's civil, there's no criminal action, there's no fear for jail time, penalties, fines, anything like that. So, you know, squatters are just no different than somebody else who takes advantage of the system, whether it's getting money for a disability that you don't have or, you know, claiming unemployment and doing side work and because you can. It's no different than just using a system, using a loophole in the system around it. It's no different. So are squatters all bad people? I, I'm not sure, but uh, they're definitely people that are taking advantage of a system that we are allowing to happen. So help us change the law. Let's make it criminal. Let's take that system flaw away from them and help prevent squatters for you. This is Flash with Handyman Answers.